Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We just got back from a trip to St. John over February break. As you know, we have our house there and we did a really awesome day trip that I want to share with you guys. I took some video while I was down there and I'm just gonna kind of walk you through our experience on Lavango, which is a private island right off of St. John. So Lavango is pretty easy to get to from St. John. You can also get to it from Red Hook in St. Thomas, but we took the ferry over right from Cruz Bay. It's the Virgin Islands National Park dock, I guess, right near Ivory Pop. So it's right in Cruz Bay. They have a ferry schedule. You do have to make reservations ahead of time, and then they just come and pick you right up. The island is only like not even 10 minutes from St. John. And again, it's still a part of St. John. I also just wanna add, there's zero filter on this video. I say that because the water is unreal and I just want you to understand the beauty of the island. So when you get off, you come down the dock and there's the Lavango sign. And we actually had a beach club reservation for the day. So with that came a cabana with some lounge chairs and we had access to the pool. That is something extra. You don't need to have that beach club membership. You can just go for lunch uh, or to sit by the beach, but it was really nice having the pool. My kids love the pool, so you know. They're, they're gonna love that. The cabana was unlike anything I've ever seen before. It was so insanely beautiful. And then we also had someone who was able to get us food and drinks while we were there. So not only is there a cabana and a pool, but there's a variety of activities to do on the island. You can see here, there are some beach games. So they have cornhole, they have ladder ball. They also did a lot of fun activities as well and included the kids. So we had a hula hooping contest, which my daughter won. She was super pumped about that, as well as like a water balloon tossing contest. So they have fun things throughout the day. There are also shops on what they call their main street. So each of these little huts, I wanna say, had a variety of items in it. So one had more home accessories, one had menswear, one had kids things, one had women's wear, some jewelry. It was just really beautiful how everything was set up. And I mean, naturally we shopped and, and took home some Lavango merch. I was lucky enough to get to meet the owner of Lavango while we were there and he took me up to the top where you can see all of the BVI. So you can actually hike this trail on Lavango. My husband's still recovering from surgery, so hiking was not really in our wheelhouse during this trip, but it was awesome to get a ride up there and see the views. He also showed me this new area they just opened up uh, for guests who are staying in the treehouse. This is, has like a breakfast buffet every morning. You can have cocktails there in the evening, in the afternoon. Really beautiful overlooking the BBIs. And it had just opened that day, so it was really fun to kind of get a first look at it. So this is actually on the total other side of the island of Lavango, so it's away from where the beach and the beach club is. This is for the guests who stay in the tree houses. And the beach down below is called Crescent Beach, and there's chase lounges and things like that down there specifically for the tree house guests. What you'll see is this side of the island is a lot more natural. They kind of built the tree houses and everything along with it to really preserve the foliage and the beauty of the island, which I thought was really unique. And then they also run transportation from the tree house side of the island back over to the beach club and the pool and the market and everything I showed you before. So this is the tree house. This is designed more for families, whereas the glamping tent is designed more for couples. This tree house is really cool. It can sleep like really five people. So you have, I think a queen, maybe a king for a couple, and then you have two twin beds and then they also have a rollout. So essentially our family of five could fit in here no problem. The view out here is unreal. So the doors just open up. You see down below to where Crescent Beach is. It's so stunning. It's actually interesting because we went snorkeling right in that water 
uh, a couple of trips ago and we could see up to the tree houses. The island was closed at the time because they were renovating it. And um, so it's cool to kind of see it from the other side as well. As I was talking to the owner, he really expressed how proud he was that they really worked with the environment building on Lavongo. So they kept all the trees, the foliage and everything. And you can really tell, you literally feel like you're in a jungle. It's so freaking cool. So I hope that at some point we can actually go and stay over there. There's a full bathroom. There is an amazing outdoor shower. There's also an indoor shower if you prefer being inside. There's a kitchenette. They've really thought of everything. It's truly the most beautiful treehouse I've ever seen in my life. My kind of camping, I should, I should add. It was like very bougie and I loved every second. <laughs> the glamping tent is a true tent. And the coolest thing about this is the air conditioning is directly over the bed. So it actually like conserves air in a way. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not going to explain it correctly, but the way they have it built is so the AC is just over the bed and not the whole tent, if that makes sense. So really, really cool. That one is recommended more for couples that only sleeps too. So after I got a little grand tour of the island, we went back, we had lunch. The food was really great by the pool. We had some drinks. They had the biggest island mule I've ever seen in my life. We played some lawn games and just genuinely enjoyed our time. And then we had reserved a ferry. I want to say it was at 4.30 ish. And we just walked right back to the dock and it brought us back to Cruise Bay. It was such a nice experience, such a different experience. If that's something you're looking for when you're staying on St. John, because again, we're usually staying in our villa and making our own meals unless we're going out to a restaurant. Yes, we have our pool, but no one's exactly there serving us drinks poolside. So I feel like visiting Lavongo, at least for a day even, was really, really fun. My kids loved it. Absolutely loved it. I probably wouldn't recommend it for like baby babies. My youngest is five and he enjoyed himself. They had fun playing chess. They had fun playing cornhole, ladder ball all the things. So I felt like he was a really good age to be able to enjoy it. It was awesome. We all enjoyed ourselves, said we can't wait to go back again for a day trip. Like I said, you can go over just for dinner or even just for lunch. They have bars and restaurants all right around that beach area. So even if you just wanted to go over for a meal, you're absolutely able to do that. Really unique experience, something fun to do if you're looking to explore St. John a little bit more and also, you know, almost have that uh, like luxury resort feel because that's definitely what you get on Lavongo. If you guys have any other questions, please leave a comment below. I'm super excited to have been able to experience this and share it with you. And again, we can't wait to go back. So thank you for watching. Again, comment below with any questions and I'll answer and I'll see you next time.